hello welcome back to my youtube channel today we want to talk about how to create room in revit and how to also create room schedule using room tags in revit so today let's start with this floor plan. so this floor plan i've created the walls the doors and the windows so i want to tag the rooms the advantage of room is that you can have details about the room the volume area and you can tag each room for you to be able to create schedules so to do that let's go to annotate tags load tags and symbol as you can see these are the places you can load your tags so let's say i want to load a tag i'll go to my load family Okay, I already have some tags for myself, so you can check it out in your family library. So let's say I want to load this three or two. Let's say two. Let's load. I'll override the existing tag that is there. So after loading the tags, go on the architecture. Select. This is the tag I loaded. So I'll come here. I don't want the room to show for mine and the room number. I just need the area of the room. So I'll apply and click. So see, you can select, as you're selecting it, the area of the room is showing. Okay. So let me start with this. For this, I just double click on the room and change it to, let's change it to living room. <coughs> Okay. okay, then this will be the chain. Okay, <clears throat> so if you notice this place, this space here is bedroom, here also is bedroom. Here we have the toilets. Let's add one more there. Okay, let's call it toilet. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse. So we have the same thing here. We have the same thing here. There's no point putting on them, changing the name. What you need to do is go to room, scroll down under your properties, you go to identity data name, you change it to whichever one you have created before. So I've created bedroom, I select bedroom, I just pick it. Okay, I've already select I've done toilet pick that okay here i have a toilet a toilet here okay and here i have I can drop that and change it to door okay so if you notice here if you want to <clears throat> if you notice the <clears throat> if you notice the size of the letters the alphabets are so big you can change this forms the size to whatever you want so let's select this and go to so let's select this and go to edit family the edit family okay you can drag this left to right whichever one you want so let's change that to this 3.5 let's change it to 3 okay Change this one to size to one. Okay. Let's drag that up. Let's make this um, 2.5. You can change the fonts. Let's say okay. okay. Whichever one you want. Okay. As you can see, I've adjusted the distance, the size of the room. So you can also, I mean, I prefer not it, so I can retain the original name, you right. So you see, it has changed. <coughs> okay, so you can see, let's go back and edit that. And three, then. Okay, it's really good. 
okay override so as you can see i've reduced the size so that it won't clash with the walls so another thing you can do if you go here click on room as you can see it's telling us not enclosed that's because there's no enclosed boundary in room when using room tags you have to have an enclosed boundary so to do that go to architecture rooms and you go to architecture room separator let's take this i think that's the place i need to cover okay so when i click on room as you can see I have an enclosed space now. So I can change that to veranda. Okay. So same thing is happening here. It's not an enclosed space. We do the same process. Take this. Drag this here. Okay. Then drag this here. Room. Okay. Entrance. Okay. So we we'll move further to creating room tags. To create room tags, okay. Scroll down to properties, schedule. Okay. Let's go to our room. Okay. Room schedule. Okay. Let's make the first one. Okay. Name. Add that um let's see area okay I can add floor finish ceiling finish understand okay let's see floor finish wall finish and ceiling finish ceiling finish okay Sorting and type sort by name itemize totals only girls area calculate totals okay all right so we have a schedule Shift that okay. So from here, as you can see, this is the total floor area for the room area. Each of the spaces have the area they itemized. So uh let's do something. Let's separate the Room and call this room bedroom one. Call this bedroom two. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can specifically visitors toilet. Okay. So if we go back to our rooms schedule, as you can see, all the spaces are separate now. Where we have this okay <clears throat> so for our living room for our bedroom one we can start with floor finish and say okay ceramic floor finish okay go to our schedule uh Thirteen white thirteen paint clean white P O P Plaster of Paris finish okay so you can duplicate that for others for example, if I want the bedroom uh, 2 to be the same thing, just click down, select this. You don't need to type it. Whatever you have typed, except you have a new. For the living room, I use. Okay. 
No, 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 it's BOP. Let's say the war finish a month. Mm. Page a month. Sean Bent. Sorry. Okay. Law finish. Be true fight. Now, ceramic floor pass. Okay. So you can do that for each of your room that you have. Whichever ones are duplicate, just select, select from the previous ones you have typed and replace and add to it. So as you can see, it's very easy to create a room schedule. Easy for you to do a room schedule for renovation, for new works depending on whatever you want to use it for so thank you for watching this video i believe this video has helped you a lot please like and subscribe our page and click on the bell button to get notified for new videos thank you for watching